what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and i appreciate you being here today i want to talk more on the curse of osiris dlc expansion for destiny 2 and whether or not i think it will be worth the asking price for this dlc now you see most of us at release for destiny 2 will have purchased both dlcs so we don't have a choice whether or not we pay for this we already have, but others definitely do. Today I will give you guys my honest opinion on whether I think this DLC will be worth that asking price. And you guys know me, I won't hold back. If the truth needs to be told, I will tell it. So let's check out what we get from the Curse of Osiris DLC. Now we get a handful of new story missions set around Osiris Sansagira, his cold shell. We also get a couple of new strikes which are also thrown into the story which is cool, gives purpose behind them and more story behind these strikes which I think would have been great for past strikes as well. We get a new planet to explore, that being Mercury. We also get a new social space upon Mercury, that will be the lighthouse which holds Brother Vance, I believe this expansion is only confirmed new vendor. Upon Mercury we get a place called the Infinite Forest. Within the Infinite Forest there are places known as trees which take you back to a past Mercury, to a future Mercury and another version of the present Mercury. Within here we basically have an infinite amount of ways we can experience this place due to how it can change its surroundings and enemies and so on. It's actually truly a great idea if definitely used correctly. I do believe though at the moment it's mostly used for new adventures that will be on Mercury for us to complete. Now upon completing the story mission for this DLC and what it offers, we also get weekly things to do in terms of verses. Brother Vance offers these verses which in turn after you complete a verse which requires you to do certain activities, the verse Verse then becomes fulfilled and you basically get to forge a weapon from it. Now Vance I believe will bring three of these per week and there's 11 in total so that means we get four weeks worth at least. So the DLC ain't looking too bad at the moment. Brother Vance will also introduce which is new to this DLC heroic adventures. I believe he will bring between three and six per week for us to take part in and get heroic rewards for. At the moment though I'm not sure if these rewards are worth the actual grind to do these but I'm sure they will change in the future if they are poor. So that's a good new addition in my opinion, especially if they're going to add them to every single planetary vendor, that would be great. And we also get a new raid activity coming with the Curse of Osiris DLC. Now it's not a complete new raid, but it is something called a raid lair. This is basically a add-on to the Leviathan raid. It's set within the same headquarters so to speak though. But it does come with a whole new set of encounters, new gear, including weapons, armors and cosmetics, as well as new bosses. Although they said it won't be as long as the Leviathan Raid, it will be just as challenging. Now when we sum up this, and we sum up what else is coming with Season 2 of Destiny, when you look at it as a bigger picture, it definitely isn't short on content. There are plenty of things to do once it's released, and for that very reason I would say it's definitely worth the money. Now I know people are going to get bitchy at the point I just made but please hear me out and definitely listen and watch the rest of the video. People are seriously underwhelmed about what's known about this DLC but not because of the DLC content itself, it's the fact Bungie seem to not be addressing the major issues this game has and that's quality of life. If this game's quality of life was much better and we had reasons to continue to play the game week after week, we would probably be super excited about the release of this DLC. The issue is there is no quality of life here. The game offers a limited longevity, there is no reason to continue playing, it's lacklustre at best, it truly is. To fix these issues the game needs serious changes, changes I don't think will happen anytime soon. The changes also in my opinion can't be fixed with a single patch, the core mechanics to the way this game works are kinda broke and the loot system is flawed, it's way too easy, it's way too casual and the token system in my opinion just doesn't work at the moment. That's not to say it needs removing, I'm just saying it don't work at the moment. Fixed roles also don't work either in my opinion, but there are ways to fix that without actually introducing random roles. But these are the things I am hearing people state among many other things. These are the issues people are having with Destiny at the moment. But fixes of such are not an overnight thing. The DLC as we know was in the works way before Destiny 2 was even launched and no doubt they are still tweaking things but the DLC itself won't fix the underlying problems this game offers but they have stated changes they are working on are coming. You can see this list on screen now, I'm sure we all saw this over a month back with the weekly updates. The changes here seem great and these will be incorporated I'm sure just as the DLC drops with season 2. 
The problem here is though, and the problem people are having, and rightly so, is the fact these changes which we need, we want to hear more of. Stop streaming and spoiling the DLC and feed us improvements coming to the game. Yes, I know, like I said, it can't be fixed overnight, but please stop pretending everything is all fine and dandy when it clearly ain't. At the end of the day, it's us, the consumers, who make this all possible. It should be our needs which are looked into and addressed first. If they were to drop a stream tomorrow talking about these major improvements they've already basically announced, people would be like, okay, well, at least they are trying to put things right. At least we know eventually things will be better. But the fact we don't and won't get that, and we are getting streams where they think all is okay, this is what pisses most of us off. So yes, my answer to the question is, is the DLC worth the money? I'd say yes. Now, would I buy this DLC with the current state Destiny is in? I would have to say no. If they announce changes coming to Destiny to make quality of life better in the near future, I'd buy the DLC and patiently wait. But hey, that is just my opinion. The content coming within this DLC is no short of the DLCs we've received in the past for Destiny 1. But at the time with Destiny 1, we had a better backbone of a game. There's no backbone to Destiny 2, there's nothing holding the game up. So this DLC will just crumble within a week, there's no two which ways about it. We need serious changes, or at least announce these changes coming in the future, and people for sure would be happier. I for one definitely would anyway. But guys, that is the end of the video, and hey, it's just my opinion. If you disagree with it and have some constructive criticism to leave down below within that comment section, feel free to do so. But thanks as always for stopping by, and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.